Hello, 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 and welcome to Beverly's Kitchen. My name is Beverly Lucas, and I am the host of For the Love of Cooking Fridays. What do we do on Fridays? I try to show you how to create a meal in your own kitchen that is better than the restaurant. That's right, better than the restaurant. My goal and my purpose in cooking is to show you how much fun you can have in the kitchen, how you can use your creativity, and how you can really love cooking, love to be in the kitchen. So what are we gonna make today? Let me think about it. So today is kind of a little bit different because we are having a holiday party at work on tomorrow. And so we were all told that we need to bring a dish. So I looked in my refrigerator and I wanted to see what I had that I could put together as a dish. So I had some shrimp. So I had some shrimp that I bought uh, maybe about two weeks ago, a two pound bag, and I only used about a little bit of it. So I was like, okay, I can make shrimp and grits. So with grits, the longer that it sits, the more dense it becomes and it becomes very, very, very thick. So it doesn't travel well, if that makes sense. So usually when I have guests over and we're having um, shrimp and grits, I don't cook the grits until the guests get here so that the grits can be nice and smooth. Um, so I thought, okay, well, we can make rice. We can do shrimp and rice and then I thought you know what let me throw some sausage in there some andouille sausage so we have some andouille sausage um, so let me just show you what our ingredients are okay first I have our shrimp and what I did with the shrimp was I peeled the shrimp and I saved all the shells to the shrimp because I'm gonna make a stock so I'm gonna make a shrimp stock um, that's gonna go into this dish that I am creating. It's kind of like a gumbo, but it's really not a gumbo because I don't have okra, I don't have other seafood, but um, it's almost like a gumbo. So we're gonna do that. And in these um, shells, I'm also gonna add some better than bouillon. I have some fish base. So I have a friend in Buffalo and what she did was she sent me a whole bunch of this bouillon base. She sent me lobster base, chicken base, garlic base. Uh, vegetable base. So this is the first time I am using this uh, fish base. So we're going to put that and we're going to cook that with the shells. Also, I have, of course, we have some onion. So I had red onion. So that's what we're using. And from last week, I have my peppers left over. So we're going to use some yellow peppers. We have some butter. So I have a half a stick of butter. Well, half stick. Half a stick of butter, and I'm going to use this because I'm going to make a roux uh, for this, just like you would do if you were making um, gumbo. So to that, I have a half, a half a cup of flour. So when you make a roux, you use whatever the oil is. Some people use olive oil, but you use half oil and then half flour, and then we're going to have to let that cook. I have my favorite. Let me tell you, y'all. I love me some andouille sausage, and especially the drippings from the sausage. So I'm gonna cook this first, and then I'm going to cook my peppers and my onions in the drippings from uh, the sausage. I have some bay leaves and I have some thyme. We have a few cloves of garlic. I have both a chicken bouillon cube and a beef bouillon cube. I am using a can of Rotel tomatoes. These are diced tomatoes and they have green chilies to give it just a little bit of kick. Although the andouille sausage is spicy, this is just gonna knock it up a bit. And then I just have one fresh tomato. So when I before I serve it, what I'll do is I'll cut this up and it'll give it a bit of freshness. We have some Worcestershire sauce. And then I have um, some roux mix. So although I'm making my own roux, I'm gonna have a little bit of help from Tony. So we have that. And then I also have Tony's Creole seasoning. We have some filet, gumbo filet. And this is like the finishing touch on any type of seafood. It just gives it a another layer of flavor. I can't really describe the flavor of filet but you can taste it. It has a very distinct um, taste and it just gives seafood, it just takes it up another notch. And then of course I have my white rice. And because I'm cooking for, I don't know how many people, there'll probably be about eight of us. We're not trying to, I'm not trying to feed them, you know, a full meal because there's gonna be other food there. So I'm gonna use four cups of water and then two cups of rice. 
So um, the kitchen is ready, so let's get started. Okay, so I put my rice in, my water, four cups of water, two cups of rice. And to that, I'm going to add a bouillon cube, a chicken bouillon cube, just to give it just a little bit of flavor. So we're gonna put that in there. So we're gonna wait till that pot comes to boil and then we're gonna turn it down and put the top on it and we're gonna let it simmer for 20 minutes. So we'll wait for that to boil. And while that is happening, what we're gonna do is here, I have my pan ready for my sausage pork. Sausage on. This sausage, it's made with pork, it is pork. It's very, very spicy, has a, has a lot of spices in it. And it gives a very smoky taste to whatever it's mixed with. And for us, it's gonna be this, I don't even know what to call it. Um, I don't know, it's shrimp, shrimp and rice. Shrimp and dulé sausage and rice. I had to get another pan for the sausage because the one I had it in wasn't big enough because we wanna have it all at a single layer like this so they can sear. Okay, next to that, I have my pot with the shells from the shrimp. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add about, this is a, a cup and a half of water. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of this chicken base. And we're just gonna let that cook down on medium. Okay, to prepare the shrimp, I have a bowl of some water and I'm putting in a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna put this right in the water and a tablespoon of sugar. And we're just gonna mix that around. I saw this watching the Food Network channel, my favorite channel, Food Network. So I'm gonna take my shrimp and I'm gonna put it in this water. And I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 minutes. And what this does is it gives it a crisp bite. And I've been doing this for a while since I learned this trick. And I can say that it really, really does work. So we're gonna put that in the refrigerator. Okay, so we have our sausage going and now we're gonna get started on our roux. So we have our rice cooking. We have our shrimp shells cooking. We have our shrimp in the refrigerator getting crisp, a kind of brine, so to speak. So I'm gonna melt this butter. And once the butter is melted, I'm going to add a half a cup of flour. And we're gonna make our roux. Take a look at our sausage. And here you can see the shrimp. And we're just gonna use that juice as a base. So we're going to turn the sausage. The butter here is still melting. Gonna let it melt all the way. It smells so good. You know, I always say that, but it's true. There's nothing like the smell of food in the kitchen, especially when it has to do with seafood. So you may have noticed that I'm wearing my pearls today. This is called the Pearl Cachet. I have a friend who has a business and she sells pearls and it's called Power and Pearls Boutique. Power and Pearls Boutique.com. Her name is uh, Tanya Sloan's, and um, I love pearls. 
Um, every once in a while, if you watch my videos, you'll see I always have on a pair of pearls. Well, not always, but most of my videos I have on a string of pearls. Um, I wore the pearls that I purchased when I was 22 years old. So I love those pearls. But Tanya has a line, and she is, not only is it Power and Pearls, but we are the Power Women. So Power Women. So she has t-shirts, Power Women. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, I got to have that. Because I believe I got the power. Mm, mm. I got the power. Power in a different type of way. <laughs> power in the spirit. I got the power. Okay, so all the sausages are turned. So I'm gonna put that right there. My um, shells, the base is complete. I found out that this fish base right here, better than bouillon, it's strong. So what I had to do, because you always wanna taste everything as you go along. So I tasted it and it had a real strong, it was a good taste but it was very, very strong. So what I did was I added another half cup of water to that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this and we're just gonna use the juice. Okay, my butter looks like it's ready. So this is a half a stick of butter and I'm gonna pour in my flour. Actually, I should whisk it in. I'm going to let it all get incorporated. What we're going to do is we're just going to continue just to cook this out. And the thing about a roux is you don't want it to burn. The only way it's not going to burn is by you whisking it. I'm going to take this out. And the sausage really is already cooked, so you can actually eat it out the package. Um, but this just gives it more of a caramelized taste. Gotta check on my rice. This is how you work on more than one thing at a time. Everything is about timing. Back to my roux. To this, I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. That's how I do it. And some black pepper. Some cracked pe black pepper. I'm so short. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm only 5'1". And these cabinets keep me reaching. We're going to keep stirring that, but in the meantime, we have our... Let me get another spoon. Um, yep. Our onions. And we have our peppers. And I think I'm just going to add just a little bit of butter to that. I had a little bit of butter. This is about a tablespoon. That cooked down. We're going to add a little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And we always clean up as we go. I always say you can tell how a person cooks by the way their kitchen looks. <laughs> Ain't no way around that. Dirty kitchen, dirty food. And that's just my personal opinion. Our roux is done. You can see it's caramel color and all that is is butter and flour. Just keep mixing it. Our vegetables are almost done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in my garlic. And this is about two cloves. You don't wanna put your garlic in too soon because you do not want it to burn. I repeat, you do not want it to burn. 
So this is layers and layers of flavor because we have cooked the vegetables in the drippings from the andouille sausage. Mmm, the smell. Wonderful. Now that I can smell the garlic, it's time to add our liquids. The first thing I'm gonna add is our stock from the shrimp. So we're gonna go like this. And we're just gonna pour it. It's gonna be about a cup and a half. Yep. We're gonna discard those. And we are going to pour this right in. to give flavor, but it's also to help thicken the sauce of what it is that's being made. To this, I'm also going to add, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna add this into this pot because I have so many different ingredients. So we're just gonna pour this in here, slowly. I'm gonna get my whisk. all our ingredients together. I'm gonna add my can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna stop for a minute, I'm gonna taste it. real good. We're going to add our Creole seasoning. And let's see, where is my tablespoon? Right here. I'm going to add about a tablespoon. Creole seasoning. I'm going to get my Worcestershire sauce and I'm just going to give a few dashes. And I turned off the rice. The rice is done. Okay, I'm gonna taste it again. Let me get another spoon. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. About a half a cup. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of sugar. My secret ingredient. I get it from my mother. She puts sugar in everything. Almost everything. Mix this up a little bit. It is tasting good. I'm gonna add some of this roux mix, just for flavor. About a, almost a tablespoon. I'm gonna add in, well, let me mix it up first. That's what you call layers and layers of flavor that it just bursts in your mouth. I'm gonna go ahead and add the um, sausage. We're gonna add the bay leaves. And we are gonna add the thyme. Okay, that's the 30 minutes for the shrimp. So let me take the shrimp out of the refrigerator. 
Okay, so our sauce is done um, in terms of having all the ingredients in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting it on medium and I'm going to let it um, simmer for about 30 minutes. And what I'm going to do is because the potluck is tomorrow, I'm not going to put the shrimp in tonight. So I'm going to finish cooking this and I'm going to put everything in the refrigerator. And then in the morning when I get up, I'm going to put the shrimp in it and then I'm going to put it all in. So the next video you will see will be me dressed for work to go to the holiday party on tomorrow. Well, today is the next morning and I am all ready for work, but we're going to finish our, um, I'm going to call it a jambalaya. I said it was kind of like a gumbo, but I looked at some recipes um, last night and this is really like a jambalaya. So, I have our sauce here that we completed on yesterday. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add our shrimp. So we have about a pound and a half of extra large shrimp and I seasoned it with some Old Bay. And we are going to bring the sauce to a boil. Right now it's just simmering. So I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna add that in. Then we're gonna add the rice in. And then on top of that, I have some fresh Roma tomatoes that I cut up, again, for presentation. It's always about the presentation because you taste food with your eyes before you taste it with your mouth. And then I have some green onions, and then we're going to put it all in my crock pot so it'll be easy to transport um, to work. Um, I work at the University of the District of Columbia. I've been there for about five years. Um, I'm the director of continuing education, which means that we provide courses for personal and professional development. So cooking and learning to cook and watching videos, that's all a part of my personal um, development. Um, I love to be in the kitchen. This is what I love to do. And that is why I am up early finishing up this dish for my colleagues um, at work. Okay, our sauce has come to a boil, so I'm gonna add my shrimp. And shrimp does not take very long to cook. Three to five minutes. Oh, this is looking so good. It is filled with shrimp. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to even fit all the rice in here, but let me let you take a look at what we have here. Now, the shrimp is gonna get its flavor from the sauce. And we're gonna let that cook a few minutes, and then I'm going to put in our rice. I'm gonna think whether I should just bring the rice separately or should I mix the rice in it? Hmm. Let me think about that. And it is complete. And this is how I will serve it. We have the rice on the bottom. We have the shrimp and the andouille sausage on top, along with that sauce. Also, what I'm gonna take with me is some gumbo filet. Gives it um, that New Orleans taste and whoever wants it can just sprinkle it on top. I think I'm ready for the party. To say I'm ready for the Christmas party would be an understatement. I am ready. So I have everything in my crock pot. I have my serving utensil. I have my gumbo and I'm gonna take my old bag. So thank you for joining me um, over this period of time uh, for this video. Uh, again, my name is Beverly Lucas and you are watching For the Love of Cooking Fridays. If you like this video, why don't you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You can leave me a comment, but most of all, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember in everything that you do, do what it is that you love to do. Until next time, Beverly is signing off.